once you arrive, if you'd like to take a block underneath of your hips, your little bridge, uh, a supported bridge, we'll call it, while you're laid back, you can. You may want a little low spine warm up with knees into the chest first. If it's been a little while since you've lengthened the spine. Uh, so shoulders can go long, knees can come into the chest, arms can wrap around the knees. A few big open mouth exhales. And then go ahead and push play on that first song. And we breathe in. We're just going to connect and relax into your body. If you'd like to add that block, go ahead and do that here. Using the breath as the, the inner guidance, shifting away from the brain, the monkey mind, trying to control every single outcome, breathe in deeply. Exhale slowly. The breath allowing a calming to the body and regulating the nervous system. I remember when I first started Aravita and I logged into a call with Kate Stillman, who was my coach. I told her I couldn't get myself to get to bed early in the evening. It was a night owl. So I thought, I said, I don't know what it is. Like, am I avoiding myself taking that time to be alone with me? And she's like, no, it's adrenaline. You're an adrenaline junkie. How did she know? I don't know, but she knew probably because how I look I'm pretty intense and high strung some days, most days. Mind you, I met her during the pandemic when I was still in my corporate job. <laughs> Go ahead and add some movement to your warm up. So if you're on the block, come off the block. And if you're not on the block, maybe the knees will bend here intuitively just allow the body to start taking on new shapes. So this adrenaline thing is how we've been conditioned from our devices whether it's TV or a handheld device. So over almost three years now, these three years, I guess, in April, yep, I'm slowly eliminating old patterns, old habits. And one of them is the gift of when I teach yoga at night. When I get home at 7.30, I want to go right to bed. So coming from a deep connection to a dark room where there's no electronics. We don't really use electricity. We use a, a fireplace in that space for light. I drive home and I want to go right to my bed. I don't want to be on my phone, so I bring up books. I make some hot tea. And last night, I'm happy to tell you I was asleep by 8.30, <laughs> which blows my mind. Just keep moving how your body craves some movement and space here. It might look different for you than it does for me, and that is good. So I invite you to assess what is stirring your life, what is driving your habits. And if it's not the sun setting, <laughs> the shifting of the energy of the earth in the evening, allowing you a curiosity to retire to bed, to get some deep rest. What is it? And what is it costing you? 
if you haven't gone long on your mat, go ahead and take the legs long, the arms long, get a big morning stretch. And then we're going to roll and meet down our sides. Roll to the right side. Two breaths here. And pause and space between each movement. And you're going to take your hands underneath your right side. Keep the knees stacked. And then press into the palms like we're going to do a push-up, but we're just going to slowly twist the spine. A deep breath in. Deep breath out. Do that again. I'm going to take the right hand over to the left edge of the mat. Just spin yourself up and around. I'm going to take that shape on the other side, knees stack. Cartwheel your hands around until they come to the mat. Knees stack. You're not a big press. We're not a super warm yet, so just a little gentle press. More like an invitation to twisting the spine. Good, and now shift the weight to bring the knees right into your table. Breathe in. And breathe out. Shoulders stuck over the wrists. Drop your belly towards earth. And then the exhale, just back to tabletop. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, back to table. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, table. And now we're going to reverse that. That exhale takes you up to cat. Inhale, table. Exhale, cat. Inhale, table. Last time, exhale, cat. In your cat, send your hips back a little further. Keep the cat arch. Keep elongating that spine. Keep tucking your tail. Inhale, table now. Inhale all the way down to cow. Uh, cow. And then exhale, super slow, all the way up to cat. Tuck your tail, tuck your chin. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And then in that cat, you can rib roll. And then rib roll that down into table. Go ahead, neutralize the spine tabletop. Take your gaze over your left shoulder. Press into both hands. Press, press. Take your gaze further away, further away, further away. Inhale, center, switch sides. Exhale, gaze goes over the right shoulder. And then a little bit of a press to that left shoulder towards the left edge of the mat. One more time, inhale, center, exhale, gaze over the left. Right hip goes towards that right edge. Press and press. Inhale, center, last time, twisting. Inhale, center, toes tuck. Draw a sweet breath in. And then exhale, float your hips to the sky. Downward facing dog, roll out your shoulders. Walk your feet, one foot grounds, and then the other can lift just like an inch off the mat and then switch sides. Your right leg to lift and bend and stack and open. Chest towards your thighs. And then take that right leg up like you're in half moon. Stack the hip up and press the foot away. And then switch sides. Inhale, left leg lifts, bend and stack and open. Chest towards your thighs. Exhale, stack it open like half moon leg. 
and your left leg comes down. Yogi, stroll to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, drop the head and the heart. Bend and fold. Shift the weight right to left. Good. Inhale, half lift. You're going to yogi stroll your hands outside of the left edge of the mat. Then just play there. See what kind of twist is available for you. Exhale, back to center. Well, that's an inhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Legs can be long or legs can bend. Just see what feels good. Back to center. Inhale, bend your knees. Hands slide up to your quads. Make sure the heater, heat. Make sure the feet hip width apart. And then we drop the belly. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, we're gonna curve and tuck. Inhale, hips draw back, heart lifts. Exhale, curve. One more time, inhale, hips back, heart lifts. Exhale, tuck, curve. And then here in that cat arch, one knee bends, the other leg straightens. And then switch. And then switch again. So we're really just decompressing that low lumbar. And then switch again. And then squat it. Both knees bend. Press to stand. Inhale, straighten yourself all the way up. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, prayer hands to your heart. Just feel. We've moved some stuff, shoulders, elbows. Uh, we were in down dog for a little while. Maybe roll out the shoulders. You can tick tock your head to get some space at the neck. Oh, let's roll out the neck. Okay, you can blink your eyes up and take your hands to your waist. Left ear to the left shoulder. And then maybe draw the face up to take it back about halfway. Exhale, face comes down towards your shoulder. And then do that again, just spin the face up. Inhale, head comes back. Exhale, nose to shoulder. One more time, inhale, lift it. Oh, exhale. Go back to center, inhale, exhale, right. Turn your face up, face to the shoulder. Inhale, lift, exhale. As I'm doing this, I'm like, what the hell did I do to my neck? I didn't even know. Uh, I know what it is. Inhale, lift. Uh, hotel pillows. Okay, stay tall in your spine. Hands come to your neck. Draw your chin to your chest. Keep the spine long. We're just isolating this to cervical spine. Mm -hmm. Inhale, lift. Arms open. You're going to catch up and lengthen as you reach over. Exhale. And then like a... a Elastic band, is that what it is? Yeah, like a workout band. We're gonna pull and then pull it even wider. Inhale, center, catch in length and exhale, reach. And then pull, and then pull, and then lift. Exhale, prayer to folds. Inhale, half, step it back, chaturanga, high to low. Scooch back to down dog when you're ready. And then we walk to the front. Inhale, half. Bend to fold. Exhale, roll to rise. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, prayer. Just check into that neck again. You can release the hand, one hand. So my head's to the left, right hands, uh, left hands come to the right neck. Let's kind of pump out that shoulder. Oh, I got some stuff in my traps today. And switch it out. Go ahead, back to center, inhale, arms lift. Lengthen, exhale, and then reach. Inhale, center, lengthen. Exhale, pull. Pull. Ah, inhale, center. Exhale, forward, fold. 
in how high. Chaturanga. And then exhale back to down dog, two breaths. And while yogis stroll to our chair, toes kiss, heels apart, in inhale, huh? Knees knock, exhale, hips drop, arms rise. I'm going to come back to some more of that shoulder work. Um, exhale, bring the right elbow back. So it's more than just a cactus arm. We're going to pull it all the way back. And then add a little resistance like you're pulling in opposite directions. So left arm is reaching way high, right arm is pulling down. Pull and stretch. Inhale, both arms center. Exhale, left palm opens, drop down and pulling it behind the ribs and then opposite direction. So it's a little bit like a bow and arrow would feel. And inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half. Left leg steps on back. Inhale, you lift your gaze, release the fingers and then press all the way up. We have Ajana, same breath, takes you high. Flip the palms, exhale, we tip it over right. And then same as we did that first warm up. Once you're reaching and then really reach. Back to center, inhale. Exhale, reach it left. Find your bearings and ground and then pull. Ah, then how? Flip the palms towards each other. Exhale, shift forward, swim it through. And then as if we have a big hula skirt, we want to snap it back. Touch down, step together. Inhale, half. Exhale, right foot back. Back knee drops. Lift your heart, lift your gaze, release the fingers. Draw it up super steady. Flip the palms. Exhale, we go left. And then pull. Inhale, center, exhale, right, and then pull. Inhale, lift, flip the palms, exhale, reach, swim, and then pull. Step down, inhale, half. Knees knock, arms lift. Good, we go right into that pulling stretch. Inhale, now we push it. Exhale, pulling and pushing. And then press. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Left foot back. Back knee down. Release the fingers. Inhale. Flip and exhale. Open wide. Inhale, lift. So we're getting a lot of side opening. Exhale, full front foot grounding, pelvic floors up and in. Inhale, lift, flip your palm. Exhale, swim, push wide. Inhale, touch down, step, half lift. Exhale, step back, arms lift. Flip it right into that reach and then go wide. Lift, exhale, over, pull, wide, inhale, reach it high, flip, exhale, swim, and then push, exhale, step together. That's our sequence, sun B, shoulders, obliques, intercostal, hips, reach and pull. Push it. Exhale, push and pull. In. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Left leg back. I'll let you take it through at your own pace. If something feels good, go deeper. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it.
One more time through the last sunbeam. way my body feels today feels like as if I was at a dance club, at a nightclub dancing all night. I, I was I was in bed at 8.30, right? <laughs> I am still amazed at how incredibly tight my body is every single day. I think for me, it's that deep, deep rest. I think for me and my friends who have already been through this reversing of the puberty, that menopause, I didn't know that perimenopause started at 35. I have a podcast that will go live today with a hormone specialist who teaches on this. And if I had done it at 35, I was not taking incredible care of my body. I wasn't. I was treating my body like Disneyland. <laughs> I'm thinking now I'm just having to recover all the shit that I've done to myself. My goodness. I was a I was a mess. And now with hormones not producing like they used to. I got some repairing to do. All right, make your way. Let's come back to our tabletop. Yeah. Roll out your ribs again. See if anything shifted from how we started. This body is less tin, <laughs> less congested. Um, take your right leg behind you and then draw the toes out wide. We're going to sink the hips back. Right toes pull back towards your shoulder. Walk the right hand towards the foot. Inhale, half lift. Exhale. Now we're getting a little bit of a twist of that middle spine. Exhale, bow. Deep into the belly of that hamstring is where you may feel that sensation. Right, inhale, hands come back to the center. Draw yourself back up. That leg's coming back into space. We're just going to switch sides. Left leg goes back. Toes draw wide. Hips glide back. Left toes pull back. And then inhale, take your left hand towards your left foot. Twisting in the middle spine and exhale, bowing and folding. Two breaths. Inhale back to center. All right, so my friend Bria is who's on the podcast. What she suggests for workouts for women past perimenopause and menopause is yoga. Take the right leg back. Let's drop the right hip down. Keep your hands solid. Shoulders are kind of locked and loaded. Right hip drops down. Just hold and breathe. So I'm trying to spin my right heel outside. I'm trying to take that right heel down and give some opening to the hips. And how we're gonna spin that heel the other direction. And just breathe. Move the left hand closer towards being underneath the shoulder if it's not. Take the right hand out to fingertips, spidey fingers outside of the edge of the mat. And then we're going to start to twist the torso up. Your foot can be completely flat. A little prep towards, I want to be building mobility and strength for our half moons. So just breathe here. If you feel so inclined, if you want to lift that leg, flex the foot. You can play with where the right hand is. Maybe you want to release it. Maybe not. Doesn't matter about the hand. I want the strength in the hips here. I want the the knowing from the core where the balance is coming from. I want those ribs to be spiraling up. I 
If you want to take the hand up and kind of play in a kneeling half moon, go ahead. And exhale, cartwheel everything down. The leg is going to spin up, right leg stays up. And we're going to take it to um, warrior three legs. So now the heels upward, hips are facing downward. Just hold and breathe. Aligning shoulders over the wrist, pull in your tummy and just let the right leg go further away. Do not move from shoulder stocked over the wrist. If I had your foot and I could pull your leg to make it longer, could you do that on your own? Press that heel away. Don't move the upper body. So hands are locked, shoulders locked. Two breaths. Okay, take your chin to your chest. Get a neck stretch while we're doing this. And on the exhale, right leg is coming in to tuck in behind the left. So legs are going to cross. Take the left foot outside the right edge. Right foot outside the left edge. Walk your hands back and we're in cow face legs. Right uh, left knee. I have, no, I have no ability to cue this right now. Left leg is on top of the right leg. Inhale, lift your heart. Hands can come to your feet. Just hold and breathe. Two breaths here. Let's take our left ear to the left shoulder again. Let's take the chin down to the chest. Uh, right ear to the right shoulder. And then neutral neck. Exhale, we're going to shift the weight forward just a little bit. I got inhale, come back to a seat. You're going to heel toe that left foot. So the left foot is flat. You may have to kind of move your sits bones a little bit. And then right arm's going to reach up and we're going to cross over. We've got a spinal twist here. Left arm comes behind, right elbow to the left knee. Sit up straight. Don't move the leg. Give yourself that strong, solid leg so you can get a nice twist. Gaze over your left shoulder. Good, slowly unwinding that. You can come back to the cow face. Yogi, stroll yourself back to that tabletop. Toes are tucking. Pull your belly in. Exhale, hips, cross leg, down dog. And then uncross your legs. We're going to do that all on the other side. Knees are coming back down, tabletop. Let's get some rib rolls, maybe a cat and cow. See what it feels, what's calling you to shift or move in the body. Good. And then slide the left leg long. Stack the shoulders over the wrist. Breathe in here. Right, we're taking the left heel out to the left edge. So it feels awkward. It's almost like a pigeon foot. Imagine if you're like your leg was broken in a cartoon and maybe that's what your leg would look like. <laughs> Dropping the left hip towards the earth. Just breathe. And then inhale, we're going to spin up to the ball of the left foot. Left heel comes down now. We're not opening up yet. So stock pressing into the hands to give yourself the left hip stacking up and around. You can keep the foot on the floor first. Hold and breathe.
much, generously breathing in and out the nose. And back off the pressing the hands. Make sure that right hand is right underneath the right shoulder. And we're going to press into that and start to spin now the chest up and open. And then from here, if you'd like to lift that back, leg, left leg starts to lift, stacking the hips. Take your gaze maybe over your left shoulder, or it could be neutral to the floor. Hold and breathe. So we need to keep constant talk contact to the hand, the right hand. And then let's see if that's happening as we slowly come to spidey fingers on the left, left hand. You can draw that hand closer towards you and then maybe release it from the floor for a second. And then maybe longer than a second, maybe the hand comes to the waist. Pull in the core, keep that tail neutral. Well, we'll notice if the side's more challenging. The left hand could come up to the sky if you want to try to play there. Ooh, I definitely have more instability on this side than on my right. Good, right hand comes back to underneath the right shoulder. I'm gonna turn the hips downward. Stack the shoulders over the wrist. Keep your upper body in place. And then left leg. Let it get longer. Let that heel press back in space as if I had my hands to pull your leg back. But don't let me move the upper body. Just let the hips release. I probably feel this in the core. I probably feel this in this part of the intestines and the organs that are way congested from being stuck for too long. Keep pressing that leg away. Keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. And exhale, left leg, ooh, and left hamstring. Left leg comes in, tucks in behind the right. Take your feet wide. Walk the hands back towards your legs. And then just arrive. Okay, check in. That side, left side for me was insanely challenging. So the body has um, instability. If you're right-handed, your right side's probably more dominant. You've had any sort of injury, hips, spine, knees, going to be some instability because of that. So what do we do? We just notice areas of observation for places that we can explore and improve. Certainly not to judge. Certainly no need for shame. Good. Now uh, allow both sits bones to anchor you. That may, may mean that the torso shifts. That's okay. Let's see if we can ground both sits bones. Breathe in. Lengthen the spine, lift the chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, shift the torso just a little forward just to see some more, feel some more. And now stack that spine. And we're going to heel to the right foot, really just sliding it till it's flat. Right hand's coming behind you, left arm's reaching high. Inhale, exhale, use the leg, strong, solid leg. As you press into the elbow, a oh, big twist deep down into that low lumbar. Give yourself some open mouth exhales. For me, this feels really gritty. The description I can tell you what it 
would look like is I got a water filtration system for the house recently. And because the water in Loudoun County, I'm sure all over the state, is full of water treatment that they put in there, which includes a whole lot of minerals that we don't actually want in our body. And what it's done is it's now damaged my pipes so much that as the water is now clean, pushing through the dirty residue that was in the pipes, yesterday I had to replace two faucets and a toilet. Who knew? So what's showing up inside of the water tank of the toilet is this black sooty stuff that looks like volcano ash. I don't know what the freak it is, but as I'm twisting here, I'm reminded that our body is not capable of releasing the amount of toxins that we take in every day. Most that you're completely unaware of. It's in our air, it's in fragrance, it's in cosmetics. It's in our food. It's absolutely in our water. And I can show you what that looks like. So as we twist, think of the sludge, and the toxins being removed from deep inside of the organs, inside of our blood, inside of our skin. Two more here. And slowly come out of that. Open mouth, exhale. And without needing it to be perfect, just come back to uh, cow legs, cow face. And how to lengthen. Exhale, you're gonna hoist yourself back to table. Knees are still crossed. Toes tuck, pull in your pelvic floor and your belly. Exhale, hips back. And uncross your down dog. Walk out the dog. I want you to imagine how much of a celebration your organs and your cells are having here as you squeeze to purge out the sludge, the muckety muck, the stuff. And next, next, honeys are dropping. Let's take the heat. Hips back towards the heels. You can rise up to hero's pose. And take your music to ritual mystic. Palms flip up, close your eyes, just breathe. Open mouth, exhale. Another deep cleansing, purifying inhale. Open mouth, exhale, commanding your body to clear and cleanse, remove anything, any toxin, any substance that is not good for me, especially the ones I'm not even aware of. I'm completely unconscious too. One more right now. Open mouth, exhale. Good. A little shoulder rolls, some rib rolls here. about separating the rib from the, I'm sorry, the shoulder from the ribs and the ribs from the hips. Um, shift of that weight can be right to left. Just exploring. Like if you had a, <laughs> a miniature, like Barbie size air blower, leaf blower, yeah like to get between all of the stuff and the muckety muck. So as you're moving, think of the stuff being blown out, blowing out the fuzz, my teacher calls it. You may want to shift it forward. You may want to shift it back. And we're going to pop over, plop over to a seat. Legs are going to come long. We didn't stand up at all today. Well, we did chair, I guess, chair pose. So really dense energy. We've been really grounding. Uh, allow some movement here, some more twisting, a little bit like in chair when we were pushing and pulling. So let's say left arms on the left leg and press that forward and right shoulder rolls back. 
Exhale, switch in the center. Inhale, switch in the center. And then exhale on that twist. One more time. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Um, okay, bring it back to center. Let's take the legs nice and wide. <laughs> Just so you know, my legs are like, no, let's not do that. My legs. Okay. So heels grounding, toes pull back. Inhale, sit tall. The exhale, walk the hands forward and just hold. Um, you're going to hold at the space when the hamstrings say, oh, oh, hello. So it might not be too deep for you. And then inhale to lengthen the heart. Exhale, walk a little bit more forward. Keep that spine nice and long. It's so really wanting to come out of the hips. I'm going to use the upper body weight to encourage those hamstrings to give some act activation, but also some, some time. Hands can walk a little more forward until you feel like you're going to arch the back and forward, fold all the way down. I don't want that. So long, long spine. Still kind of perched up. You're looking for the separation from the hips to the ribs. Right now walk the hands back, come back to your seat and now. I will be opposite to you here, left hand sliding down. Keep the torso up and open. Give yourself a little bit of that pull, release. Let's do an elbow draw back and then release. Inhale, roll, and then right arm's reaching high. Left elbow can bend, keep the chest open. It's just like we do in side angle and triangle. Use the left arm on the left shin as the lever. Press yourself open. Right check, right sit bone. If it's coming up, give yourself a little encouragement to drop it down towards earth and then roll it back. Oh, let's just stay here for a moment. Take your hand to that hip, drop, pressing down. As you're pressing down, can you pull the torso towards the left leg? Good. Now keep that sit bone, right sit bone plugged in. Reach the right arm up. Let's swim it over. Pressing into that left forearm. Keep that torso up and open. And then inhale center. We're going to frame that left leg with a twist. And exhale, walk your hands forward, nose to knee, forehead to the shin. Walk the hands back to center, inhale. Flip the palms, close your eyes, exhale, two breaths. Inhale, lengthen, the right hand sliding down that shin. All right, we're gonna take that left arm towards front of you and then inhale here exhale push and pull so pressing into the right leg pulling back with the left arm you guys can go over the left shoulder we're going to exhale to release that inhale pull exhale release one more time inhale pull And then exhale, stay in that pull, but left hand's coming down to the left thigh bone, that femur. Oh, press it down, press it down, going straight down to earth, and then a little roll back. Ooh. I don't know if you feel it like I feel it, but it is 
delicious and intense at the same time. I don't know if I like it, but I think I love it. Breathe and hold. Oh, slowly releasing that thigh, left arm's reaching up in. And exhale, slowly reaching over and still pressing into the right forearm. And I'll draw yourself back up to a seat. <laughs> I'm all sorts of lightheaded. I don't know if you are too. Twisting over that leg and exhale, nose to the knee, walk the hands forward. Ah, give yourself an open mouth exhale as you're really twisting and wringing it out on the left. And inhale, slowly unwind and release. Come back to your seat. Oh, the palms just receive. <laughs> Open mouth, release. And then you can use your hands to support the legs. The legs feel super heavy here. <laughs> you would think I just ran a marathon. No, so hips, low lumbar and legs hold a lot of stuff, sludge, we'll call it. So they feel heavy and we, we're not going to move it out. We're going to rest first and then you're going to flush it all out with some water when we're done. Roll yourself all the way back. Sometimes the answer isn't more movement. Sometimes the answer is just to be still. Arms can lengthen and then arms wrap around the shins, cross your ankles to give your hip flexors some reprieve. Take your mind's eye back to those half moon and warrior threes that we did and honor the instability and the shakiness as growth was anything of negative context or conversations you were having, you got to start canceling that out. That's not you. It's not who we are. We're here for growth. Every experience is a way to see how we can get stronger, wiser, to improve. This life is about growth. One foot comes down to the earth, followed by the other. Ground your heels, lift your hips to the left, knees gracefully drop over to the right. And open mouth, exhale. And then her knees come back to center. Open mouth, exhale. Another inhale, shift the hips to the left. Exhale, knees to, I'm sorry, hips to the right, knees to the left.
Knees come back to center, ground the heels, lift your hips to the center, hips towards your heels, tuck your tail, and then walk your feet all the way back down. And arrive to your Savasana. Eyes will close, breath will soften. Just rest. Try to deepen your breath. Allow some movement from the hands, fingers, feet, toes. And then arrive to your side when you're ready. And press yourself all the way up. Ah, inhale, arms open and lift. Next up, her hands right down to your heart. Bow to you. Beautiful practice. Good morning, my love. Namaste. Namaste. All right, loves. How do we feel? Oh, it was so nice coming back on a flow, a slow flow day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I loved that um, background work for um, Half Moon, uh, Steady Half Moon. Because it, it's true, you, you need some fundamental strength and all before you put it all together. Yeah. 